Good morning, folks. We've got a lot of news to cover today from the sun to the laboratory, including the end of the lack of sunspots. Let's just get right to it here at spaceweathernews.com. And the last day on our star was calm for the majority of the time as we watched the corona hole enter Earth facing position. However, just after yesterday's news, a region where the filaments and coronal magnetic fields interact released a minor pop that appears to have pushed plasma up and out. Not much of it, mind you. The CME is faint, the filaments didn't release, and it would be just a cherry on top of the coronal hole stream expected at that time. Solar flaring saw what was happening but didn't feel like getting out of bed for that party. One little sunspot graces the southeast, and it's calm. Solar wind beginning to show lower intensity. The stream from the Earth-facing Corona Hole should arrive Thursday with any CME effects, minor though they may be. Top stories begin at Mars in a glorious affirmation of the solar system chaos theory of the early years. They're saying that Mars moons are not captured asteroids, but the result of a major impactor. The transient moon is now nowhere to be found. Also got a series of incredible animation sequences from NASA and the U.S., EU and South Korea as they're set to launch a fleet of satellites aimed at monitoring air quality and composition from a large scale down to individual point sources. Both links to these articles are found below, along with links to more of yesterday's brand. We saw hot Jupiters, hot Saturns, and temperate Neptunes, but here the two groups continue their duel with the discovered close-in enormous planets. Folks, this was the scene in Kentucky yesterday. Sign came down. I bet people still know it's a Walmart. The dangerous weather will pop up again tonight a bit further north in the Midwest. We will see all the pressure and radar for the globe in a moment, followed by shots of our star to close. But let me first remind everyone that the next Observer's event is just four days away. A little brunch and hangout for my new neighbors in Albuquerque. Email cat to get a seat. There is no registration fee. You just have to pay for breakfast if you get it. It's 4.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.